Hello there, agents. It's the awesome down here. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to click the subscribe button and the cool bell thing is so I think always sit on the fine. Hey everyone, hey it does down here, and welcome to Hitman 3. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know that much about Hitman. All I know is that it's a stealth-based game in a world where stealth-based games are uh, very um let's just say they're in abundant. So I knew the second Hitman was free for a while, because you know, PlayStation Plus with all that. So I kind of have a little bit of like, you know, familiarity of what to do, but I'm going to try my best and pretty much how the series is going to go, is that I'm going to try and do it in one go. Like, like if I fuck up, I probably just reload my save and like do it then. Okay, I'm going to try and do every assassination in one go? Let's see how that goes. Anyway, without further ado, let's do it. On top of the world, the first mission. Let's do this. Uh, briefing. All right, so our first plan: take out Carl Ingram and Marcus Saba. Let's do this. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets. To use and throw away. To do the unthinkable the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought, until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the constant, Providence's chief controller and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. 
Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Copy that. Yeah, so pretty much I did this mission before. In, just like you like a little handle, a little, little, uh, in position? I'm little like handle of what the fuck I'm actually Good. supposed to do. Because when it comes to like Hitman that. games, like, it's fun, but if you have no idea what to do, you can possibly screw yourself up heavily. So I pretty much, so do you guys want me to do that for this series? Where I play a mission once off camp and then record myself pretty much perfect, basically like showing you guys the way of how to assassinate the guy without being seen. Because like that's pretty much like I played the first mission just like get like a like, like, handle on like you know what the fuck to do like the controls and all that, and I pretty much like know how to take out both guys in the area without like being seen at all. Once you've it's, infiltrated it's, it's a little it, tricky. Like, the first one was sure easy. Floor the second somewhere. one was a little tricky. Understood. We need because absolute you have to get, like, focus uniform on this one. That was a little bit tricky. If but that one I can, I can, I can, I can, I can do. If any presence, we may lose them for good. But it's just, uh, th let me know in the comment section yes, if that's so something you're watching me do Don't worry. Like, play the mission once just to get a hang of it. And then play it again to do it all like a one perfect run. Oh. Oh, Ray for Oh, Ray for time. Ray for sexy time. And three, two, one. Time for sexy time. Oh. Damn, I look good. Welcome Actor. to the barge, Alcus. So I know the first thing I want to get is... I know I... Okay, so pretty much... The, in order to get the... Okay, you know what? So, this is the first guy. This is how you get the first guy. You gotta listen to this guy. He's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. Zana Kazim, yeah. aka the. So pretty much, you gotta scout yourself at this dude. So how you do that is you gotta wait for him to come over here, click this button that's gonna bring him over here, and uh, I'll show you the rest. I'll show you what to do, guys. Don't worry. So come on, y'all all pissy that like you know. You can't like get like you can't go up without being searched because apparently you're a dick like that. Ugh. Asshole among asshole among assholes. Huh? Oh, oh that noise. You could probably go check it out. I should probably go check out the noise. What is that noise? Go check out the noise. Ugh. Go. Turn that off. Okay, there we go. Um, you did see shit. <laughs> you did see shit. Oh yeah, hi. I'm, I'm the same guy. Um, yeah, change my mind. Uh, frisk away. Hey, how are you? Sorry, I just need to do a quick search. Oh, on, frisk away. Yeah, no, no worries. You get grabby. You get all, get all up in there. All up in there. Come on, yeah. All. Oh. <coughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I changed my mind. Sorry, I was such a dickhole earlier. I looked differently because, you know, I I, I turned not I tried not to be a dick. So when I'm not a dick. I lose my hair. Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm, I'm glad, glad you too. changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. <laughs> yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram Thank has you. been lead expecting you. We have a conference room set up for Thank you. Thank you. Lead the way, crazy bitch. Lead the way, evil secretary. Oh, you're the worst kind of secretary, the evil ones. I mean, do I, uh, I don't know, have an evil secretary? Is she evil for you? Or is she evil where she gonna kill the fuck out of everyone just because she can? Hey, hey how's it going? going? You know, how's it going? I'm the same guy she talked to down there. Don't need to worry about a thing. 
don't, you don't need to check the guard for a body or anything. No, 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 no. No need for that anyway. Yeah. So, uh, which room is it? It's... Oops. It's this... Please, go in oh. and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Ugh, okay. Alright, so our, our first... Our next target is somewhere... Oh, there, right there. Yeah, that's the next guy. He's, like, in the art gallery-ish. And I'll show you guys how to take him out. But, uh, where is... Where's the first one? Where are you? Dude, the fuck? Hello? What? Hello? Where? Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. <coughs> Mr. Kazim. Oh, likewise, Pleasure to sir. meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a... Well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. What's job? Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toad. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself. Out. Thank you. Alright. Hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, kill a guy. Like you said, it's gonna kill the guy. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. Oh, I'm gonna kill the fuck out of this reporter. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon. Uh huh? No, the, the reporter, somewhere down there. I'm gonna go snap his neck, and then twist his nipples, and then rip off his arm, and then twist his other nipple, because I can. Because I am a hitman, damn it. As a hitman, you get to do these kind of things. Alright. Alright, where are you, dude? I must twist your n- Oh, I thought I was him for a second. I must twist thy nipples. Alright, look for anyone answering questions. Anyone trying to answer some questions. Uh, there you are. Let's follow him. Let's see where he's going. What the? Uh huh. That dude just. That dude likes spazzing out, sir. Are you alright? Do I need to knock your ass out too? I will knock your ass too. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. Upstairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali's private. Mr. Luft, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow, Follow me, me into the, the into the bathroom. Into the bathroom. Follow me right here into the bathroom. Yeah, just don't worry. It's just two men going into the bathroom. Don't worry about it. Just two men going into the bathroom. All right. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever. Don't worry. It is. It's good. Better be good. I guess you could say it's killer. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Please no. Drag your body away from the door. <laughs> All right. Boop! There we go. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Thank you. Um, that bathroom is very, very clean. Looking that bathroom well is today, very, sir. very clean. You should be proud of yourself. That is a very clean bathroom. Just don't go in there. I did some real nasty shit in there. Like real, real nasty. Don't look! 
I have the picture you look asking for. I hope that lets me get into a private area of of of, of the building. I mean, of the building. Good so I can kill you. I mean, tell you something privately, so no one can see your body. Pardon me. Looking get up! I need your approval. Good. I know it, baby. All right, I got the uh, photograph. He asked. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, I do. you have the picture. Okay, yes. another thing you definitely yeah. want to save. Like, just save after like, everything. Just save. Just Our save. Guest will be like, delighted. after good things, save. Because you don't want to actually Please fuck follow. it up and then gotta redo He's all this shit. Hi there. Mr. Kazim? Please. Yes, of course. Follow I will be me. following you up to so a secluded area where I will not kill your boss in very bloody fashion. Wait. Oh, I felt like a burp. I felt like a burp coming in. Like, why? why? Ugh. But so, it's fascinating. Do you like the building? Incredible. This has been his uh, royal house's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. What? Everything here is completely self Fuck your roads. I'm a rebel. Internet. Even water is That's gross. Absolutely fucking bro. Yeah, but like, we're like super high up. How is, um, you know, oxygen and shit like that? How, you know, how the fuck did that happen? Like, like oxygen and stuff. Like, how the fuck are we doing that? I'm not pretending to have all the answers, but people like Phillips should have to choose between having food or having integrity. More clout behind your work, uh, more eyes on your work, more money for your work. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with him. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs, but you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. Understandable, you know you gotta do, you know what you gotta do. Tight ass security, tight ass neck for me to squeeze. Uh, <coughs> you know, I'm just not a, I'm not gonna be squeezing anybody's neck, I'm not a killer, well, technically I am disguised as a killer, but I'm not. Damn it, you know what I mean! Uh, this right here? This this room right here? No? Oh! Mr. Cassie. Ah! Good to see you. Yes, you I do. Picture? I showed it to your secretary downstairs, but I guess I'll show it to you too. Yes. Your problem is fixed. I am too Our good. Why do my glasses look so fucking weird? Why is it like, look, why does it look like one of the lenses is out? Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. I'm sorry. We have Please Ingram me, right but... where we want him. Yeah, just remembered something. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. Yeah. It's something to All be All right, cool. everyone, leave. You know, blend in as the assassin. I, uh, oh, 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 it's perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, this is perfect right here. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk outside. I, I, I kind of like. The, what the? Huh? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on there? That? That place on fire? What the hell? Are you coming out? Are you coming out? Oh, there you are. <coughs> It's interesting we haven't come across each it's other before, Mr. Kazee. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people. Wait, missing screwdriver? I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very yes, little, what do you so need? let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed. You mean by you? Get out of the gut. Oh. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I'll take out this cancer. And there you go. Oh, 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 that's a long way down. Oh, deserves. oh, it's, oh, Good oh my gosh. Now let's get. Oh Marcus wow, that's uh, uh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, don't don't worry about a thing. Don't, don't worry about a thing. Okay, save real quick. Save. I just killed the fuck out of a guy. So save. Well, this motherfucker play solitaire. Oh gosh, you deserve to die. 
right there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Oh, they're both outside. Oh, I'm about, to, I'm about to kill the fuck out of one. And then just like... Okay. <clears throat> ah, what a lovely place you have here. Ah, uh, my business is... Oh, ooh, I'm gonna kill him and take his uniform. Try to blend as well. Alright. What a lovely place you have here. I, I, you know, I'm, you know... I'm gonna go do the other task you want me to do. Uh, you know, it's classified, classified. You know how, you know how it is, classified shit. Uh, you know how it is. Yeah, so much for all your fuck security. Yes. Baby from getting her ass thrown out of a fucking balcony. Alright, so I guess if I had a screwdriver, I could tamper with the glass. And then, like, when he leans on it, he just fell, he just falls over. Like, oh, ah! oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Alright, so the next guy is here in the art gallery. So this one might be a little tricky. This one might be a tad bit tricky. Okay, so I'm gonna try and take this out. Okay. And then I'm gonna drag his body over here. Yeah, let's see. Alright, let's go. Put him in here. There we go. So now that I have a, now that I have that, I have to go to the art gallery. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, it's over here, I guess. Right? It's over here. I actually, I actually forgot where the art gallery is. I just wait a minute. I have insider knowledge of what the fuck I'm doing. Well, wait a second. If I... Can I, can I know, can like, I have insight, I have insider knowledge. Oh, what the fuck to do? So I wonder, can I tamper? No. Oh, no, I'll, I'll go back. Okay, I'll go back. Come like, wait a minute. I know like, I, like, I know what to do. What's, ha what's gonna happen? Cause I already played the mission before. So it's like, ugh! I bet, oh wait, no, I'm also like, I bet you if I can go back to the other balcony, I can tamper that balcony before he even gets there. But at the same time, it's like, how do I get to that area? The, the, the security is super high. How do I get to that area without alerting, without alerting somebody? Okay, I can't, oh, oh! Part of me was like, let me just drop down. Part of me was like, let me just drop down. Like, see if anyone knows me. But say, if that's a long drop, that is death. That's a death drop. And I actually totally forgot how the fuck I'm about to get to the art gallery. I forgot how. I, really did. I, I, I honestly forgot how to get to the gallery. Like, I believe it's over here-ish, right? Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I got it. I got it. It's over here. I got it. I got it. Excuse me, Barbie. It's a normal guy. Oh, there you are. That's my target. Follow him around. See what he know. Uh Marcus, you were keeping yourself out of trouble. Yes. Trying to keep a low profile. So have you talked to your daughter? That's none of your business. Everything here is my business. You are my guest. Do you know that Carl is wondering why you were down here? Carl is not my keeper. And you better keep your mouth shut. He can't know I contacted her. Don't worry, Marcus. Your secret is safe with me. Carl knows nothing, and I hope you won't forget that. You know, I gave you a very moving eulogy during my speech. I'm sorry I missed it. Yes, so am I. Stay safe. Looking good. And remember who your friends Looking are. Looking good. I hope your talk with your daughter gives you some closure, and you remember I've done you more than just one favor. I will. Huh. He's leaving. Follow him, see where he goes. Maybe I can like give us a clear location, huh? Slit his throat, throw a knife in his face, huh? I have to say, this is the most. All right. Ooh, part of me was like, let me just do 
kill the fuck out of him and run. But all the witnesses around? We can't have that. I gotta find a secluded area. A way where I can kill the fuck out of him. Without no one knowing I was even here. Christ, Cornelia is not alone. Okay, yeah. you see that woman yanking away in um, there? I need you to get rid of her. Normally, I would say by any means necessary, but alas, she is one of the stars. I'm man. Yeah. So I would like you to lure her away from the other young lady I need yes. to talk to. Ma'am, I need you to, uh... Understood? To, Good. Uh, okay, that was, that was easy. Oh, come on. I hate clingy artists. Ma'am. Hi. Uh, whatever. Um... Oh, that should be my Sir, I don't think... Uh, Oh, she's leaving. Fuck, he's leaving! Dude, you trying to give me a slip. You trying to give me a slip! Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Best security guard over here. Oh. What's happening here? Hello? Any update on my replacement guard? Sir? We have word that he's arrived. We're just waiting for him to turn up. I'm glad to hear, but I don't like to be kept waiting. Make sure he has his papers and call me. Please, okay? I'll we'll call you as soon as he turns up. Good. And please, when I come back, no more excuses. I'm a personal friend of His Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. Stuyvesant is expecting yeah, replacement a replacement guard. guard. <laughs> I can do that. I can be his replacement guard. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, so here's the tricky, here's like a real tricky part. In order to get into the area, you need to have a keypad, right? You need to like enter the keypad. But here's the thing, the combination for the keypad is behind the locked door. So, like, the fuck? The key, the key number is for... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, I know it was like four... 702? No? What the fuck? Oh, I, I know definitely the four. It was four. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, four. 706? There we go, 4706. Okay, I know it was like four something. Alright, yeah. So I gotta find a replacement guard. Yeah, pretty much in order to get to. In order to, like, you know the, the combination to that code, you need to literally be in here. But like it was, yeah, briefing room, yeah. So the combination is like right there, four seven zero six. But so stupid because in order to get to this location, you need to use a passcode. All right. Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. What's up? Hey, you. I have a problem. I'm supposed to meet up for oh. duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. If, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? Ugh. It's my first day and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. No, it's all screwed up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you, man to man. Sorry, still on duty. Oh, God. This is not my day. Oh, geez, oh it's are... Mumbai all over again. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, wow. Oh, it's thing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you do you know what a man is without How his gun? I... <laughs> man in his box. Wow. Crying like a baby. <sighs> you women will never understand. Oh wow. And I don't think we ever. Damn, will. you are a bitch. <laughs> and now you're getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not doing anything. Shut up. <laughs> What are you doing? Don't do it! Oh. I can- can I not? Um... 
Oh, here we go. I'm gonna say like, oh, can I just not? Can I like just not like? <laughs> okay. There we go. How many bias can I fit? <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. How many bias can I fit in uh, in a fucking locker? It's three, right? Oh, I can't. I can't more than, okay. Present yourself to the security office. Don't worry about fear, everybody. I am the new guard. Fear not. The new guard is here. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, oh, here we go. Up one. Up two. And up three. And how's it going? Hey. Yep, I'm here. Yep, I'm here reporting for duty. Sorry I'm late, you know. <laughs> reporting for duty. About time. Our Sorry. client has been going out of his mind yes. for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, Pinky. he's just known as codename Pinky. Oh, I love the real time. What the fuck? Sir, this is security. Just calling to you let see you that, know right? the guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you That's soon. so fucking cool. Like, when he calls, the uh, the dude actually picks up and starts answering the phone. Like, I love that realism. What the fuck? Okay. Wait. Right. <clears throat> serious mode. Serious mode. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Serious mode. Yep. Mumbai. Yeah, I heard that was. Oh, I can tell you that that was. Okay, you must be oh, my new yes. escort. Shifty. I have very high standards. Of course, sir. Of course. I trust you will do your duty. Oh yes, right here, sir. You Fuck have me. your credentials on you. Mm, let me see here. Yes, that looks good. <laughs> I like it. Yes. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect keep from you. Don't worry, safe, I'll huh? keep the big man safe. Yeah, nice gig. I'll uh, poor and I kill him. <clears throat> I mean, yes, keep the big man safe. I expect yes, you course. to be by my side 24-7. Unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, yes, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see yes, what sir. you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Yes. Have you ever Multiple tried to gut animals. an animal? Yes. Called Good. asshole people. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. <laughs> You're almost oh, here. Oh, that's just too easy. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a uh, knife, don't know how it goes, but... I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure so, put a fair target. Would have a field day with that statement. Hello, so, auto -aim. So Yeah. Goodbye, out of way. No. Oh, I love snapshot. You cocky. Oh. Part of me wants to do it. That was a magnificent you. performance. I like you. Well, I think we can get along just fine. You've okay. gained his trust. I I got the right man now. What to do Thank with all that power? Deserve it. Thank yes, you, sir. It was an honor. It was an honor. A very prestigious honor. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes. I did. You impressed me. You really did. But let's
let's get yes, to work. and that you know how to take a great fall. This is very much on a need to know. Hey, huh? We got him, forty-seven. Soon there will be no more providence. And you need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from here. over. I can do this. Pardon me. You know what? I I I'm just gonna say it. This whole party sucks. Everything here sucks. I I'm out of here. Fuck. I quit. I don't want to be no chief security guard. I'm out of this bitch. I quit. Oh, and by the way, those two guys, uh, you know that the, the dude, the art, yeah, the fucking the, the, the friend of the fucking Bazir or some shit, the, the friend of the emperor, whatever the fuck. I killed them all. I, I don't even know their names. I probably probably don't know what I'm talking about. But you know what? You find their bodies. Fucking blue as red paste on the ground. Adios, comrades. And that is how we be an assassin. And that is how you officially kick ass in a hitman. All right, guys. Replay the mission. Oh, I wonder, I wonder like, how I'm supposed to do all this. Like, all the different ways to actually assassinate, like, all two of the targets. Fucking amazing, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know, like, all the different ways you found out how to assassinate these targets. I want to know, like, what you guys, like, like the, the, the plans you guys came up with. The man behind the curtain. That's it for me, everyone. Peace out. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Bye, bye, bye. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Oh, sir.